Is what? And then I have various other things that have been... Early on in the company, I couldn't get a hold of printers because we were shipping too many, so I put stuff together out of the junk pile. <laughs> Excuse me. We talked to a couple hundred people already. It oh. makes this show exciting. Oh, yeah. Cool. Were you here last year? I like the blue color. Yeah, last year we came to the Um, just checking them out. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not clear by looking at it. looks like a whole bunch of... Do you have a finished one? Fries. Um, uh, I don't have any of the houses here yet. So I think that's probably okay. why we're making them to show off. How big are or how tall are they? Um, they'll be in several pieces, so they'll end up being about that tall. Uh, and basically, they're designed off of old um, Sears and Robot designs. Okay. The, uh, the, the um, kit houses that they used to sell in the early 1900s, you could buy out of the catalog. One of our designers um, is also an architect. He took the old plans for those, put it into SketchUp, and actually raised out all the different pieces and got them ready to print. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so everything you see here was actually done on these machines, including these uh, reproductions from the British Museum. Those were done in pieces. The, uh, this was uh, 16 different pieces. So we uh, pieced together and then them on it. Wow. Yeah. That's the same deal in last That's kind of a cool thing. Good. It's pretty amazing. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right. Cool. I did all those. Yeah. And I'm a fan of the color. The color's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it.
we sell it, it's uh, $48 per kilogram, and with that you can make like 300 chess pieces with, uh, so it's, you can make a lot with it. I mean, it, it depends on the infill, like you can see the honeycomb in there, like the, the more dense you make it, the more plastic it'll use. So, and same with the layer height, like the, the finer, like that, the sapo is 100 microns, this is 250 microns, it's hard to, so you can see on this one now it's getting high enough, this is like an 8 hour print, so it's going to take a while. But like it, um, what do these you know, cost? What's the difference in price between the units? Uh, well, this, this one's twenty one ninety nine. This is the, the um, what we're selling now. Then we'll have we have a new machine coming that'll use uh, have two heads, dual extrusion, and it can use two different kinds of material, and that's twenty seven ninety nine. Where does it get? Do you, is it just a program, or does it? Do you have to take? How do you? Uh, you how do you get any, the? Any CAD software, any design software, Google SketchUp. Like uh, there's like Tinkercad. It's like a free site. Anything you can design on, and then we have our own software makerware that'll convert that to use with the machines. Gotcha. And the the makerware is like free to download from the site. Yeah, you can you can hook up a. It, it works with. Right. Oh, we make I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that.